Hey guys, um, sorry for my voice. I'm very sick and I'm just not getting my voice back after a week. But, um, thank goodness this week's post is really short since I saw my crap. But, um, first of all, for my spring break, um, my spring break was great. I went to South Carolina for the first weekend of it because one of my best friends was getting married and, not married, wow, she's getting proposed to and her um fiance now called me and asked me to go with him and surprise her and f like photograph the thing in the bushes so I had my own hotel room and everything and I took another friend with me and we watched the whole thing happen and we took pictures and videos and then we jumped out and surprised her and um, she said that was her favorite part which is actually kind of funny but so we did that and then we all spent the weekend in Charleston and she left to go on a cruise so then Went to the beach, stayed there almost the whole week. Then I just went home and hung out with some family. The unproductive thing I did was everything. I slept so much and ate so much. I didn't get anything done but have fun. So that weekend that I was at home, I didn't do anything at all. I just laid on the couch and hung out with my family. Um, as far as the internship, I have not secured my internship. And I've been contacting... Jake for the last month about it because I've had a lot of issues because I'm not doing it in Wayne County this year I'm doing it in Pitt County because I'm paying $700 a month rent to stay in Greenville so I feel like I should do an internship here because I have summer school but I don't know anybody in Greenville like I did in Goldsboro so it's really hard for me to use my resources and I've had to just approach people about it and people haven't like turned me down or been mean to me or anything but they just won't contact me again after I tell about it or after like we meet or if I give them a phone call they haven't called me back and I filled out a bunch of applications to places because they actually have applications I guess in Greenville but um I've tried the hospital I'm waiting to hear back from them I've tried I even like went out of my way of nursing and like was just doing health care in general and I did um an application to ride rescue as a volunteer um I did I had a meeting with someone to do or actually, I had a phone meeting with him, so I guess just a call. But um, she's talking to her chief to see if I can be the office manager for the summer of a rescue squad. Um, I contacted my dean of my program and the assistant dean of my program to see if any of the faculty there need assistance. And they also referred, to, referred me to a place called Riley's Army in Greenville, which is um, it's a cancer like benefit place I guess they're the support system and they have like a bunch of benefits and they're just there for people I don't really know much about them but they're they're, they're support for cancer patients um I've tried the Ronald McDonald house I've tried American Red Cross this is just me sitting calling people showing up to the office sending them all emails sending up my resume um and today I went to look for a women's abuse safe house and because my dean of my college is like you can be the person that assesses the, the people when they come in and check their kids to see if you should refer them to a doctor since I've learned how to do all that in school so that's pretty exciting but I couldn't find the safe house and it's so secret there's no phone number there's no address so I had to like follow directions that someone told me but they weren't exactly right because when I made the turn and she said it's a brick house on your left there were no brick houses on my left but there was four on my right so I'm contacting her about that. But, um, yeah, I have a bunch of options. My last resort is calling my old internship from last summer. Hoping not have to do that because I don't want to commute 45 minutes back and forth every day or three times a week, whatever. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Jake said he wasn't really concerned about a deadline, but being the person that I am, I don't want to keep dragging it out. So we'll see how that works. Um... And the summer project, I apologize, I have not been participating in that. I'm just so busy with school and I completely forgot about it, to be honest. But Jacob did mention the forum. And so I posted on the forum um, and I sent out an email so we can get the paragraph done. Um, I do think we should do it at the Y and I do agree with whatever Jacob said in the forum about um, late June or late July. Only because the Y summer program, which was the kids that we were like aiming to do it with their program doesn't start until public school gets out and public school doesn't get out until the second week of June so the program starts three or four days after that 
the summer camp does. So we would probably need to do it late June or July. Um, and I post all of this in the forum, but it's easier for me to tell you over the video. Um, as far as like which group of kids we should do, they have kids ages from 16 to 6 years old. And they break them down. It's like every, it's like five or it's six, six and seven year olds in a group, eight and nine year olds in a group, um, 10 through 13 is in a group, and then 13 and up is in a group. And they have a set schedule, so every group eats breakfast at a certain time, every group reads at a certain time, every group goes to the pool at a certain time, and plays outside at a certain time, and goes and does sports activities, and then does arts and crafts. So if I can, or whoever can talk to the director of the program and say, can we just have one day where we'll have the sports activity time that you have planned out for every group, and we can plan a, um, we can plan an activity and use that time they have allotted for each group to do our activity. But um, my supervisor, when I worked there, for, I worked there for two years, was, isn't there anymore, but the upper people are there. So I can contact them, or I can, I have a friend that still works there, and I can ask her to give me her new supervisor's email or phone or whatever, or I'll just go up there because, um, like I said, I work there, so I know how to get in and everything. But um, yeah, that's about it. Can't really talk about my super my internship at, or um, my internship supervisor because I do not have one. But I'm hoping to find somewhere that I've had fun the last few summers, and I've, it's just been an internship to get my requirements done. But I'm hoping that since I'm a junior in college and I have a lot of nursing skills now and like I have a lot of personal skills with people that I actually can it can be more like a job which I know it kind of sounds weird but I'd rather benefit from it in the long run but um that's all I have right now um like I said I'll keep posting in the community project and I can't wait to read y'all's responses